This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. <laughs> Dutch TV station uh, known as Dusk has established uh, porn, women porn. So what this is is um, pornography that is targeted specifically toward females, right? And you would think that that type of pornography would not be successful, except it's tremendously successful. In fact, it's so successful that three Dutch networks have picked it up. All right, so it's 24-7 porn that uh, is, is specifically catered to women. And it's interesting to see what the difference is between male porn and female porn are. So I'm going to tell you what it is. Um, so it's interesting because women are looking for realism, they're looking for respect, and they're looking for a storyline. All right, so for yeah. me, and what am I? Go ahead. What am I, a chick? <laughs> I love lines. To me, a, a porn where they're just like, boom, 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 like, yeah, but I'm like, who are you? Why are you having sex? I. To me, that's not that interesting. You could see that a million and a half times. I want to know. I don't. Is it your secretary? Is it your neighbor? Oh no! Don't tell me it's your wife's best friend. <laughs> okay. So some sort of storyline to make it interesting, right? And, and the one thing I don't need, because apparently I'm not a chick, is respect and porn. That doesn't make any sense. No, but I. You know, that's such an interesting point, right? Because. Women, I, I really do feel when they watch porn, they feel a little uncomfortable because of the fact that, especially current porn, uh, it can get violent. You know, you feel like the woman is being degraded. And if you want to attract female viewers, they're not going to be interested in that kind of porn, right? But in this uh, female-friendly porn, you see the respect. And I want to, I want to read you what the top um, actual porns are for the, this network. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what they are. Um, the viewers' current top ten include Cougar Adventure, My Mother's Best Friend, Barcelona's oh. Sex... <laughs> I love it already. It instant winner. Instant win. All right. Dutch porn for the win. Yes, absolutely. Barcelona Sex Project, a documentary involving inhabitants of the Spanish city describing and filming the intimate details of their sex lives, and also The Gift, a 1990s classic directed by the godmother of a woman's perspective porn. So those yeah, are... The last, <laughs> last two are a little shwang wang wang I don't know about documentary. Uh, but <laughs> the first one was a win. Look, but I'm back to uh, being on the side of the women porn. You know what? They're right about respect. The porn these days have gotten out of hand. You know, it's like you have to do X, Y, and Z, and then you have to do this, and you have to do that to her. and Just calm down, dude. Have sex. Remember how what regular people used to have sex? Like it'd be passionate and stuff, and then maybe they rip each other's clothes off. But, but it wasn't like, oh, if I don't put it there, <laughs> and it wasn't really porn, and if I don't finish up over here, uh, you know, no, no, just have sex and with a good storyline. Right. Now it turns out I'm totally uh, a Dutch chick. Yeah, you know. And, and by the way, how much do I love the Dutch? You know, that's that's a country that has freedom. With the pot and the porn and it's you know et cetera et cetera and one more thing, you know I know why this is doing well these days. Women are a lot more honest throughout the world. I think uh, certainly in the cultures I'm familiar with, uh, with their desire for to watch porn or to be sexually active et cetera. When I was growing up, that was like oh no, you know like 20 years ago that was like oh you don't admit that these days people are like yeah yeah why not. I just like it this way. And remember one other thing. Holland is next to Germany. Mm -hmm. That's why they want respectful porn, because they've probably seen German porn, and they got no interest in that. Right. And I don't blame them. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. They've got 75,000 different titles. A book I've always meant to read but didn't have time for is Guns, Germs, and Steel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to it through Audible.com. Actually, if you're a Young Turks listener, you get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT.